Hi guys, so today I'm going to be using this scrap steel pipe and this piece of steel flat bar to build a nice little garden hose holder for my grandma. I started out by cutting a 10 inch length of the scrap steel pipe. This is Schedule 40 galvanized pipe, so it's pretty easy to cut. I'm using my portable bandsaw, but you can use any tool that's suitable for cutting metal. Next, I marked off four inches from my 10 inch pipe section and cut it at an angle using my portable bandsaw. It's a bit tricky to cut the pipe at an angle, but the degree does not need to be exact. It just needs to fit up and be able to be welded together. To build the part of the hose holder that actually mounts to the wall, I cut off a small piece of the steel flat bar and drilled two holes in it, which will allow me to use screws to mount it to the wall. The next step is to clean the metal. Since my metal is scrap metal and a bit dirty, I'm using my angle grinder, but if you're using clean metal, a wire wheel will work better than a grinding disc. It's very important to make sure the metal is clean before welding. And it is a bit difficult to grind round material like pipe, but with some practice, you'll get the hang of it. So I finished grinding all the parts and I'll just be using this little magnet to hold the components together when welding. You can see how there is a hook and a wall mounting plate. So let's tack these together and weld it. Tack welding is pretty straightforward. I just put a few dots to hold the metal together until I permanently weld it. Now I'm able to weld up the components of the garden hose holder. I'm using 7018 electrode because that's what I have, but if your welder is not very powerful, I'd recommend 6013 or 6011 because those electrodes don't need as much amperage to run. Still, 7018 is stronger, so I guess that's a benefit, though it doesn't matter much here. After the welds have cooled, I can grind them down. I'm using a flap disc on my angle grinder to smooth out the welds. This way they look nicer and there's no sharp edges that can damage a hose. Grinding is pretty easy, but the one difficult part is that curved joint on the pipe. Unlike a flat bar where you just grind away, when you're trying to work with pipe, you have to follow the curve of it. And it's especially hard where two curved parts meet. And it is imperfect, but I tried to make it look as nice as I could, so hopefully it's good enough. I finished off the cleaning process with my drill and a wire wheel, just to remove any kind of dirt or light rust that may still be present. So here is what the garden hose holder looks like now. All the edges are ground down, all the welds look nice. Now all it needs is a coat of paint. I'll be spray painting it off camera, so let's get it painted. So here's the completed garden hose holder. I can easily hang a hose on it. And we have this extra hole here, which you can use to store a garden tool. Here I'm storing a pair of scissors and this looks pretty nice and it was easy and fun to make. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you all next time.